Welcome to Life with David. I'm David, and today I thought I'd do a quick little video responding to a challenge given by an awesome YouTube channel that I really admire, Usagi Electric. This is a Hello World challenge to output the word Hello World using unique computers and assembly or machine code exclusively. Since I'm all about bare metal these days, I thought I'd present my offering on two machines, the RP2040 microcontroller and my 6502 homebrew computer running the 6530 terminal interface monitor or TIM chip. So why don't you join me to me make these two machines talk to the world, misspellings and all. So what is the Hello World Challenge? Well, a couple of years ago, David Lovett of the Usagi Electric YouTube channel obtained a dead Centurion mini computer. He brought it back to life with the help of many of his YouTube viewers. The first output he made was supposed to be the ubiquitous Hello World, but he entered the code incorrectly and the result was Hello World. That misspelling took on a life of its own and he has since issued a challenge to his viewers to submit photos and code of Hello World on their unique machines. I'll put a link to his video in the description below. Anyway, I thought I'd make my submission via YouTube since that's what I do. I'll start out with the Raspberry Pi Pico in full bare metal mode. This is a modification of the interrupt debugging program from my last video. I'll put a link in the description below. Here I use the routine that prints out a 32-bit word containing four ASCII characters. This calls out the UART0 out routine that sends each character to the UART0 data register. I've connected the UART of the RP2040 to my computer using a USB adapter. I'm running PuTTY as my terminal emulator. After I compile and link the program, I'll copy it to the Pico. And there it is, success number one. Next, I'll use my 6502 computer I built decades ago with the MOS Technology 6530 Terminal Interface Monitor chip dating back to March of 1976. I did a video on the TIM chip earlier. I'll put a link in the description below. I believe the Kim computer eventually evolved from the TIM chip. This computer was originally built as a single board computer before such things existed, and I've used it to debug a lot of projects. It even served as my home energy management system for many years back in the early 1990s. Anyway, let's start it up. It's connected to my computer using serial port COM1. PuTTY is set for 300 baud. The UART on the TIM chip uses bit banging to measure the speed of the connection when I type a carriage return. I'll push reset and then type the carriage return. The TIM responds with a status message including the program counter, processor status, accumulator, X register, Y register, and the stack pointer. Here's the hand compiled program, but I'll save you from watching me enter code. To run it, I'll change the program counter to 1000 hex using a colon and then entering the starting address. Then I'll type G for go. And there we are. Let's do it again. This really brings me back to my early days working with this monitor chip back in the mid 70s. Thanks for joining me today. I hope you enjoyed my submission to the Hello World Challenge from Usagi Electric. We did some simple output using bare metal programming on the Raspberry Pi Pico and a very old homebrew 6502 computer. Also, thanks to David Lovett for putting together such a fantastic channel. Usagi Electric dives headfirst into old and often antique computer equipment and brings them back to life. I hope you'll check out his channel. I'll put a link in the description below. I'll get back to more bare metal programming in the next chapter. I'm working on a fairly ambitious project, but I'm not quite ready to announce it yet in case it fails spectacularly. If you like this video, or you think someone else might, please give it a thumbs up. If not, give it a thumbs down. The more likes this video has, the more YouTube will recommend it to others. Also, please leave a comment or suggestion for things to do. I hope to do more of these videos, so please subscribe, and click on the bell for notifications of new videos. Let's get together next time for another day in Life with David. See you soon.